At the moment, as one of the ground instructors for Parks, I am teaching turboprop class. It's been a, a great new learning experience for me and something I, I think can add toward my aviation knowledge in general. The Diamond will be one of the first airplanes the freshmen fly, and they'll be up in the air within the first week or two after classes start with an instructor. And this will definitely be one of the things that students work on when they first start. It's called touch and goes as they land and continually add full power after touchdown and take right back off. The instructors and parks themselves take a lot of pride in making sure that we're safe beyond what we think is safe. Parks' legacy of safety continues to be at the forefront of its teaching. Parks College received a grant from the Federal Aviation Administration to launch the National Center for Aviation Safety Research. We have a CRJ-200 jet simulator which represents a 50-seat regional jet. We simulated the recent crash for U.S. Airways and we put it down safely in the Hudson the same way that they did. My heart was racing. It kind of put things in a new light for me, being able to experience it firsthand. We wouldn't have been able to do the Hudson reenactment if we were on an older simulator, but because we were able to recreate the New York skyline, we were able to recreate the exact flight path that that crew took. It allows us to experience exactly what they did. One of the professors also teaches one of my ethics classes, so he would work both of those in both ways. When dealing with the accident class, he talked about the respect to the people who are involved in the accident and the moral issues behind that. It goes along with the, the St. Louis University tradition of trying to excel the person, not just the degree or the academics. So I think it's a great university to, to walk out a better person, not just a smarter student. When you see evidence of so many people in flight operations and in the safety area, who came from parks and even in the maintenance area as well, you can't help but believe that the education that parks provided was fundamental. Park students and alumni are leaders in aviation safety.